I did this big rainbow painting in the depths of winter in Colorado when it was cold and gray. I did it for my own personal color therapy that I was getting all these different spectrums of light through my paint. And it really was the medicine that I needed for myself at the time. I find that when I trust that I make something first for myself, that other people are going to like it as well. Some paintings I pan all the way through, but that certainly wasn't the case for this one. Each step was taken one at a time, and I didn't think of the next step until I was done with the first one. So I started first with a quinacridone azo gold underpainting. Once I had gotten a design that I like from that, then I started to consider what the colors are gonna be. So, you don't always have to plan everything in advance. In fact, it's not always the best way of going about it. Throughout the journey of creating a canvas, you will see more and be inspired by more through the process of creating it. So things will come to you and inspiration will come to you that you would never guess from before you made the painting. The process itself reveals the inspiration and guidance that you need to complete the painting. That's how I was guided through the process of this one. And it came out a very beautiful piece. Check it out. I'm kind of winging it on this design and I'm starting to develop a general idea of what I want but the reason why I like using quinacridone azo gold for this is that it is light and transparent enough to get painted over by the whites if I make mistakes and yet if I go over it with darks and I miss any places with those darks what's gonna come through is this beautiful golden colored underpainting and I really enjoy it for that well, I am using something that is slightly similar to a Mayan or Aztec design in their carving they have this use of a staggered block pattern and I am applying that in a similar way but I am using it in a spiral form that is going from larger shapes on the outside of the canvas to smaller thinner shapes on the inside and so it's transitioning inward as it goes in the spiral. Now I'm going to start adding color to this afterwards and I'm going to transition into using spray paint after that. So this is that step where I've laid it down in my garage and I started layering big fades of rainbow colored spray paint over the whole thing. At this point, it is turning into a very different painting all of a sudden, but I'm kind of loving it for what it is becoming. I'm using semi-transparent MTN brand spray paints on this, and the reason why is because they blend really beautifully with each other, and they make a lovely fade. Next, I am using a large bristle brush to make these very organic, soft, rainbow cloud shapes. And I'm going just a slight step darker than the background. So if I have a light orangish red, I'm just putting a little bit of magenta.
I'm building further and further back into the Z plane of the canvas. So these clouds are fading back into the rainbow vortex atmosphere. I finally make the bold move of making a strong white in the middle of it, but I'm gonna fan that out and use some white spray paints to make that transition a little less stark. I'm wrapping that spiral all the way inward to the center as it goes into the light. By using some painter's tape and some semi-transparent dark blues and purples for the outside edges, I'm trying to make it look like the light yellow color coming from the middle is coming out in rays. I don't know if you guys like big rainbow paintings, but I sure do. So I hope you like it. If you did, click the like and subscribe button. And if you would like to see more of this very in-depth process, click the link in the comments below. There's so much to learn from this video. I highly suggest it. Till next time, guys. Have a great time painting. Keep creating. Peace.